On this episode of Around the Oval, our reporters take you through some of the best hangout spots on campus and talk with head coach Jimmy Hampton about the upcoming soccer season. That's all right now on Around the Oval. Between social distancing and housing policies, finding places to hang out can be difficult. So we compiled some of the best places around campus to spend your free time. The indoor pool offers a good balance of relaxation and exercise. The pool is open Monday through Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. with a lifeguard on duty. The Drover Den is in the basement of the student center. The lounging area offers board games, video games, and tabletop games. It is open every day until midnight and thoroughly cleaned daily. The Daily Grind is USAO's taste of Starbucks, offering delicious drinks like hot chocolate, teas, and of course, coffee. Located in the Lawson Court Clubhouse, the Daily Grind is open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. with a prime location for lounging. If outdoor games are more your style, Lawson's Sand Volleyball Court is open to students from beginners to experts. And with temps beginning to cool down, students can enjoy time just hanging out on the Oval. Located right in the middle of campus, it is the perfect place to read a book, play flag football, or just simply hang out with your friends. We would like to remind students that masks are required on campus, and ham washing and cleanliness are important habits to maintain. Reporting for Around the Oval, I'm Tyler Bryson. Our USAO soccer teams are back in action with a craving for victory. The women's soccer team is fresh off their best finish after a trip to the NAIA tournament, while the men's soccer team faces unfinished business from last season. The women's team started strong as the number one overall choice in the Sooner Athletic Conference. Both teams are led by renowned head coach Jimmy Hampton. We're optimistic it's another year for us to make a run at the Nationals, and that's always our goal, you know. In order to do that, we've got to be very successful in the Sooner Athletic Conference, which is very, very tough conference, you know, men and women. So, but I think with the players we have coming back, the players we have coming in, um, we expect to be, you know, there at the end of the tournament, being semis finals and looking going to the national tournament as we always do. Soccer season is underway, though conference games won't begin until the spring semester. We're still missing four or five players that won't get here until January. So it's, it's an odd thing doing half a season in the, fall and half a season in the spring for soccer. I think it's an adjustment for us looking at a year round season rather than a four month season. That's just, it's odd. So I would say as coaches, it's new to us. We're learning how to, how to maintain, how to peak, how to get ready for competitions, how to have time to recover. You got it down in a four month season and a nine month season, it becomes a different, different deal with the players. Although we can't watch in person, we can still cheer on our talented athletes by watching online at portal.stretchinternet.com slash USAO. Reporting for Around the Oval, I'm Kaylee Reagan.